name is Jill Cochran, and my task is to give you a brief history of how you all got here today. In 1963, the state of West Virginia celebrated its centennial with a wide variety of programs for farmers and miners, for children and seniors, for recreation and sports and science. The committee charged with coming up with a celebration for young people wanted to have the Boy Scout Jamboree in West Virginia, but they were about a decade too late in asking. However, the idea of a camp stuck in their heads so since science was one of the themes of the celebration, the committee decided to have a science camp to be held on the campus of West Virginia University with the attending delegates sitting in lectures six to eight hours a day. Fortunately for you, two of the committee members were a pair of professors from WVU. Chuck Cochran, my dad on the right from the math department and his best friend Joe Hutchison on the left from the Recreation and Parks Department. The two of them immediately objected to the idea of a camp on a college campus. No, 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 they said. We need to hold this camp in the great outdoors, in the natural laboratory of uh, the Monongahela National Forest. And we need to invite speakers from academia and business and government to talk about their passions, to talk about the cutting edge of science in their particular area of science. And then we can go hiking and caving and rock climbing, not far from camp. So of course the committee put the two of them in charge. Dad and Hutch designed the camp to be all of their favorite things. A chance to meet and talk with really smart people. A chance to learn concepts of things they knew nothing about and a chance to meet young people and honor them for their accomplishments. The delegates for the National Youth Science Camp of 1963 were all male, just like the Boy Scouts, with two from each state, 100 delegates for West Virginia's 100th year. It was held at Camp Pocahontas, a 4-H camp that was originally built in the 1930s as a Civilian Conservation Corps camp deep in the middle of the Monongahela National Forest and not far from the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Greenbank. The NYSC of 1963 was intended to be a one-time thing, but those delegates loved their experience and strongly suggested that the program needed to continue. And so it did. The state of West Virginia continued to fund the program until 1983 when a nonprofit organization was created to fund the camp. Lecturers over the years have included Apollo astronaut Neil Armstrong long before he walked on the moon, General Chuck Yeager, the first man to go faster than the speed of sound, discoverer of the wreck of the Titanic, Bob Ballard, Nobel Prize winner John Nash, subject of the film A Beautiful Mind, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, host of the television series Cosmos, A Space-Time Odyssey. And a lot of former delegates have come back to speak as well. Among them, IBM's Robert Mercer, who invented the first voice recognition software. He represented the state of New Mexico in 1964. Hewlett Packard's David Hackelman, who invented the ink for the inkjet printer, he came from Oregon in 1969. And former president and CEO of Yahoo, Marissa Mayer, she was the delegate from Wisconsin in 1993. There have been a few other changes along the way. In the 1960s, the collective name for those who work at the NYSC became staff, S-T-A-P-H. After all, their enthusiasm for the program was quite contagious. In 1975, the first women delegates attended. In the 1980s, directed studies were added to allow small groups to meet with a lecturer for a couple of hours a day for three days to work on a special project. The basic program is unchanged in 60 years, though the science areas covered 
have, of course, changed with the times. And we've changed again this year. In order to safely hold a camp in this time of pandemic, we've decided to go with technology to hold the different parts of a regular in-person camp virtually. You'll still have lectures and seminars, directed studies and cabin meetings. We just haven't quite figured out how to go caving or go rock climbing through the wonders of technology. So let me add my welcome to all the others. I'm glad you have become the next in a long line of delegates to the National Youth Science Camp. I hope to have, have the chance to meet you in person sometime in the future. Good luck.